Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. Check the show notes for links to all of our stories. This is Effector Volume 34, Issue 2, titled Corporate Media Wants Copyright Law to Rewrite the Internet. This issue was published on Wednesday, March 30th, 2022, and I'm your host, Member Outreach Assistant Christian Romero. Let's start with our top feature. The new filter mandate bill is an unmitigated disaster. Industry groups are pushing for a new bill, the Smart Copyright Act, that would give the Copyright Office the power to set the rules for internet technology and services to address copyright infringement, with precious little opportunity for appeal. Remaking the internet to serve the entertainment industry was a bad idea 10 years ago, and it's still a bad idea today. Now let's go through some EFF updates. First up, you should not trust Russia's new Trusted Root CA. Russia's Ministry of Digital Development and Communications is instructing Russian citizens to download a government-approved web browser or change their basic browser settings. But this would install a certificate authority that paves the way for a decade of digital surveillance with the power to bypass the cryptographic privacy measures every internet user relies on. Next up, Telegram harm reduction for users in Russia and Ukraine. Russians and Ukrainians are both prolific users of Telegram, relying on the app for channels that act as news feeds, group chats, both public and private, and one-to-one communication. But what do you need to know about just how safe Telegram is and how to use it more securely? Next, anti-war hacktivism is leading to digital xenophobia and a more hostile internet. The Russian military invasion of Ukraine has led to a backlash against Russia. But that has evolved into bans on anything ethnically or historically Russian, a terrible idea with potentially harmful consequences. Next up, podcast episode, Watching the Watchers. Laura Poitras joins EFF Cindy Cohn and Danny O'Brien to talk about her continuing work to uncover spying on journalists and what we can do to fight back against mass surveillance. Next up, we've got another podcast episode, Saving Podcasts from a Patent Troll. On this episode of How to Fix the Internet, Mark Marin and his producer, Brendan McDonald, join EFF Cindy Cohn and Danny O'Brien to talk about how they decided not to give into legal threats of a patent troll and how podcasters came together to support EFF's work to defeat the patent. Next, ban online behavioral advertising. Tech companies earn staggering profits by targeting ads to us based on our online behavior creating a mad dash to collect information on users without regard to privacy. Next up, we've got one more podcast episode, Hack to the Future. We talked to Zach Lada, founder of Hack Club, about the importance of high school student access to an open internet, why learning code can increase equity, and how schools' online security and the law often stand in the way. And here's our final update. A printer company is putting DRM in paper now. Printer companies have long profited from being the exclusive sellers of ink or toner in our machines. Now, label maker Dymo is installing hardware in their printers to ensure that customers can only print on paper they sell. Next up, we've got some announcements. First, EFF's 6th Annual Tech Trivia Night. Join us in person on May 5th for our 6th Annual Exploration of the Fascinating, Obscure, and trivial monotony of digital security, online rights, and internet culture. If you live in the Bay Area, register today. And now we have a few jobs to share. First up, Accounting Director. EFF is looking for a senior level Accounting Director to manage all day-to-day accounting and reporting operations of a budget of 15 million to eventually supervise a team of two staff members. Next up, Staff Attorney, Intellectual Property. EFF is looking for a litigator who is excited about fostering digital creativity, justice, and innovation to join our legal team. And finally, we've got some mini-links. First up, newly declassified documents reveal previously secret CIA bulk collection and problems with CIA handling of Americans' information. The CIA has been engaging in mass surveillance of Americans' communications violating everyone's privacy without any oversight from courts or Congress. Next up, after protests around George Floyd's murder ended, a police system for watching protesters kept going. 
After MIT and Tech Review published scathing revelations of police spying in Minnesota's Twin Cities, they took into account responses by both defenders and detractors and have published even more. Next up, a U.S. surveillance program tracks nearly 200,000 immigrants. What happens to their data? The Biden administration is proposing to expand a controversial surveillance program that tracks the whereabouts of more than 180,000 immigrants waiting their day in court. And for our last mini-link, the FOIA 2022, recognizing the year's worst in government transparency. Every year, EFF and Muckrock team up with the alt-weeklies around the country to highlight how challenging FOIA and transparency can be. Alright, and that's it. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to sign up for the email version of Effector, which includes links to in-depth coverage of these stories and more. See past issues and subscribe at eff.org slash Effector. Before we end this issue of the newsletter, I just want to let you know that EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization and you can help us defend digital privacy, security, and free expression for everyone. Donate to EFF today and even grab a bit of gear by heading over to EFF.org slash effect. That's EFF.org slash EFFECT. You can become a member for as little as $25 or even sign up as a monthly or annual donor. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.